call a meeting to order on Councilman Brown. Let it lock us down. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> I'll row. Councilwoman Brown. Here. Councilman Weaver. Here. Councilman Brock. Here. Councilman Watson. Councilman Barton. Here. Mayor Lovelace. Here. There's a quorum for business. Approval of the June 12, 2017 minutes. Motion to approve the June 12 meeting minutes. Second. We have a motion by Councilwoman Brown, a second by Councilman <coughs> Broughton uh, to approve the minutes of June 12th. Uh, is there any discussion? <coughs> any changes proposed? Hearing none, Councilwoman Brown? Yes. Councilman Weaver? Yes. Councilman Broughton? Yes. Councilman Barton? Yes. Yeah. Uh, motion passes and the agenda is approved. All right. Uh, I want to welcome the visitors here. I'm glad to see uh, Reverend H.K. Matthews here. I haven't seen him in a while. Uh, glad you're here. I see Mamie Hamilton way in the back. Glad you're here today. Uh, the next item would be approval of the agenda. Council's had a chance to review the agenda, and I know that we need to add one item under new business which would be item 7C, emergency repair for the intersection of Sow Road, a sewer uh, repair for the intersection of Sow Road and Martin Luther King. Uh, that would be resolution 17-0626-2. Are there any other changes needed to make or additions? If not, all in favor, I say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. It passes. On the new business, the first item is the approval of right-of-way permit fee schedule, which is resolution 170626. And remember, we passed a right-of-way, uh, I guess that would be an ordinance. Ordinance. Ordinance at the last meeting and this would be the following uh, fee schedule to go with that ordinance for a, a major project would be $150, a minor project would be $100, and a small project would be $50. I'll make a motion to approve resolution number 17-0626. Second. Motion by Councilman Weaver, second by Councilwoman Brown. Uh, to approve the resolution 17-0626, uh, is there any discussion? <coughs> Hearing none, Councilwoman Brown? Yes. Councilman Weaver? Yes. Councilman Brawl? Yes. Councilman Barton? Yes. Uh, motion passes, and the resolution for the right-of-way permit fee schedule is approved. Next item is to set a date for a public hearing to consider an economic development agreement with Optimi LLC, which is resolution 17-0626-1. Uh, this is a company that we have been discussing and having meetings with for the last uh, number of months. Um, and as we have getting closer to uh, uh, coming to together with them on a final agreement uh, that would be discussed at this public hearing which is Re resolution 170626-1 yeah make that motion second motion by councilman barton second by councilman broughton uh, to approve the Resolution number 17-0626-1. Uh, is there any discussion? Hearing none. Councilwoman Brown? Yes. Councilman Weaver? Yes. Councilman Brock? Yes. Councilman Bart? Yes. Motion passes and the uh, 
Economic Development Public Hearing is approved. Next item, uh, item C, is the emergency sewer repair at the intersection of Sile Road and Martin Luther King, uh, resolution 1706-26-2. And I call on Russell Holland to give us a brief overview of what that is. Mayor, Council, Mr. McDowell, Mr. Hines, thank you all for allowing me to speak. Uh, as the mayor has mentioned, I, I'm here to address the council and, and request that you pass a resolution to perform an emergency repair at the intersection of Sour Road and Martin Luther King Drive. This area um, has a intersection of sewer lines and a couple of manholes that in light of the recent rainfall events and weather that we've had has worsened to the point where Mr. Madden has had to shut Sile Road down at that location. Um, the request for an emergency repair is due to the effect on health and public safety at this time. We would like to get a contractor to address this issue and get Sile Road back open as quickly as possible. Um, we anticipate that the cost of this repair at this time is going to range anywhere from fifty to a hundred thousand dollars. I know that's a broad range. It could cost upwards of $100,000, to be honest. We won't really know until we get out there and start doing some digging and some more investigation of the extent of this repair. But it's something that we would like to tackle immediately. Um, we had planned on addressing this issue to an extent as part of our ATRIP project. <coughs> and so there was funds set aside for ATRIP project to address this. We will be able to use those funds uh, in the ATRIP project whenever that happens, but this particular repair needs to happen immediately, and the ATRIP project is still a little ways out. So I'd like for the council to consider this and let us move forward with this repair. I'd be glad to answer any questions that you might have. And now we'll be concerned. getting three, three bids on this. Yes, yeah, so we're going to get three contractors to look at it and try to get three quotes um, by classifying this as an emergency if you so deem to do so we would we could go out and just get one contractor to do the work but by getting three bids that at least ensures us that we're getting a good contractor and a good price so we're not trying to just go out and hand select somebody to perform this work we still want to reach out and get multiple quotes it's just that we would like to move forward with it immediately and, and you have already contacted the DECA for, to yes, see sir. if any grants were available. I have. I, and I, the governor's I, office, you're meeting with the governor Friday? Yes, sir, that's correct. I'm going to try to get some emergency funds if I can to try to offset the cost. I know obviously this is very expensive. Uh, if there's some discretionary funds available or emergency funds available, I'm hoping that the governor's office can help us with that. I'll make a motion to approve resolution-17. Dash zero six two six dash two for repair of sewer system for Sowell Road intersection of ML MLK Drive. Second. Motion by Councilman Weaver, second by Councilman Barton to approve uh, resolution seventeen dash oh six two six dash two. Is there any? any yes, yes, sir. Um, I know we spoke to you uh, previously about the conditions of the road on uh, Sowell Road. Yes, sir. And you said uh, that we're looking to start immediately yes, now, how realistic is that is that in the morning once we're, we, we're, we're going to have this? contractors looking at this area tomorrow starting in the morning i hope to get those prices in quickly um obviously mr madden and i will be meeting with the contractors and i'll be getting those quotes as soon as they can get them to us probably within 24 to 48 hours as soon as we have those three quotes in hand i'll have a price that i can run by the mayor and by mr madden and as soon as we select that contractor, we want to move forward as quickly as possible. And I you know that emergency repairs, contractors know that, and they'll be prepared to come in and start as quickly as we'd like for them to. Granted, we've got weather coming in at the end of the week, and we'll have to work around that, but that's with any other project we'd have to work around that. But, but even with good weather, it still take a week to yes, two sir. weeks. Yes, if, sir. If weather was perfect, we'd be looking at probably a week-long repair. And my concern is the, the, the condition of the road getting any worse than what it is at this point. Need to get now boots on the ground and get it taken care of. Is that yes, my concern? Yeah, the South Road will remain closed until we make this repair. Um, the way the city has set up the detour now, there's people can get around that, but that section of South Road is is obviously off limits. And yes, sir. I mean, it's going to continue to worsen. So the quicker we can get on it, the better. So you say you saying it's going to be down for about a week, week and a half. When the repair starts, it will <coughs> it will probably take a contractor about a week to perform this work. 
you know, the weather could, weather. inclement weather could obviously adversely affect that. Two of the contractors I already spoke to, I mean, as soon as we get a price from them tomorrow, they said they can be here the next day. So, I, I do know that, but one of them, I, I didn't have an answer back from him on that, but I do know that two of them I talked to said that they can start. Uh, they can actually have a book here tomorrow, but I would want them to come give us a price first. Yeah, no, you're not, you, you're going to use one contractor, not two. Yeah, what, one's I'm saying, give you the, what I'm saying is that's the ones that I'm telling you that we've already been we getting prices from tomorrow. Yeah, I'm with you. you know, I'm with they you. They can be here, you know, the next day. Okay. <clears throat> Any other questions? Okay. Um, any, other, any further discussion? Hearing none, Councilwoman Brown? Yes. Councilman Weaver? Yes. Councilman Brock? Yes. Councilman Bart? Yes. Motion passes, and the uh, emergency resolution number 17-0626-2 is approved. Thank you. Thank you. Under announcements and comments, there's a couple things I would like to, to mention. Uh, normally, Pastor Willie Blue from Second Saints Alone Baptist Church is, is here, but uh, I'll announce it in his absence that uh, the Alabama Communities of Excellence, uh, which Bruton is one of the participating cities, uh, Pastor Blue got uh, named this year as their Volunteer of the Year for the state of Alabama. So it's a great honor to, to Pastor Blue, and we are very happy for him. And uh, they will give that award. Kind of when will they give? July 14th. July 14th, he'll actually receive that award. So I'm very happy for him and all the work that he does for the city of Bruton and its citizens. The other thing that I just want to bring up, and I'm bringing up really for people to try to give input back to the city, but uh, the city of Bruton owns the Girl Scout hut, which is on St. Nicholas Avenue. And we are under the understanding that there, for some time now there has not been any Girl Scout or Brownie troops in Bruton using that facility. Uh, the, they cut the power off to it. It's just been sitting there for a, a good long while. Um, we would love to see you know Girl Scout troops getting started back in the city and using that facility um, or some other good use for that building. Uh, I just mentioned that to put it out to the public. I would love to, to hear back if somebody has some good ideas or wanted to start a troop, that would be great. So I just mentioned that. Uh, are there any other uh, announcements or comments? No, sir. Motion to adjourn. Second.